The Honourable Member for Dauphin Swan River, Nipawa. Mr. Speaker, the cost of gas has reached record highs. I know the Prime Minister has never made a living in rural Canada, but rural Canadians need to fill up their gas tanks to live their lives. They can't take the subway to work, they can't walk their kids to hockey, they can't take the bus to town. I think Canadians deserve a break, Mr. Speaker. So will the Prime Minister reduce the cost of fuel by removing the GST from gas and diesel? Here, here. Good question. The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives continue to talk down the Canadian economy and spin economic fiction. So let's talk about some facts. Mr. Speaker, fact. Last week, Statistics Canada showed that our annualized growth is 6.7%. Fact. Our economy is the second fastest growing in the G7. Fact. Despite Omicron, our GDP, debt to GDP ratio is the lowest in the G7. Order. Sometimes you just get to a point where I just can't hear a thing. I know everybody's excited to see each other. We're excited to hear the minister's answer. I'm sure, they're, I'm sure the government's excited to hear the questions that we're going to be answering. So uh, can, we, uh, can, we move, can we just sort of keep the temperature down just a little bit, enjoy our, the, what's left of the uh, question period? Uh, let the minister answer the question. The Honourable Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the third of many facts that I'll share in this answer is that $2.5 trillion, our economy is exactly the same size it was before the pandemic. We are on track and we will continue to fight COVID inflation on behalf of Canadians.